My name is Pastor Christine Morris, and this is my husband, Dr. Phil Morris, Heaven Hand Outreach, Mr. Co host. And we welcome you to Faith Talk. We're going to get right into it. Hebrews 11 1. Faith is the substance of things hoped for and the evidence of things not seen. Faith is something you can't see. It's just like when you became saved, you got to remember that you have to believe it first. You can't see it right then. You have to pray and keep trusting in the Lord. Faith is, is knowing. That all things work together good uh, from Romans 8 28. That God works for those who love Him, He gives you the good things. It's not all you, if you're bad or good, it's that for those who love Him, things work out for us. Do you have anything to say on that, Bishop? Sure. Now, faith is something that happened right now, and we need that something to work with. In, in the beginning of my life, I need the something because I did not have anything. My mother created me that I didn't know what I was going to be like. I was a starch baby. And you know what? They had to beat it out of me. So therefore, it's all about the substance that God has given you with. And he will help you use it because now faith is right now. What do you think about that, baby? Faith is right now. It's right now, but you're still going to have to wait on it sometime. It's not instant all the time. Some people want microwave style, but no, it's not that way. Faith will come. Sometimes you have to wait. Sometimes it's quick. But we still have to trust in God and rely on Him for faith. It's just like you need a healing. People forget when you became saved, you had to believe first. You have to come through that same door. If you need a healing, if you need anything from God, you got to go the same way. Believe it and then receive it. That's how we get faith. Do you have anything else to Sure. Faith is the substance. Just think, in the beginning of my life, I did not have anything. But God created it to be something. Just think, but I was born to be a creature in Christ Jesus. And he gave me some to work with. I had to have faith in him and trust in him and walk with him. Because I need him every hour of the day. Just think, but when I went to Vietnam... I was scared. I was praying to God that would take care of me. I had faith that God would bring me over there and bring me back. He brought me over there and brought me back. But in the beginning of time, I said, now, I made promises, but I did not keep it. But therefore, baby, I came back in whole, but I did not know that I had H and earned. What you think about that, baby? He brought me back like a perfect man with God faith and created me. He brought you back. You said you had H and Orange. Tell us a little bit about H and Orange. H and Orange is a thing that when I was going to Saigon, I was flying in the air. And the H and Orange had got onto the ground and it got into my heart. But I didn't know anything about that. I came back thinking everything was all right. But things started happening with my heart. And God created a heart that I gave to him and he gave to me. And I ended up, they had to take my whole hard out and took care of it and put it back in. I can't tell you everything, but you know that it's a miracle that I am able to do what I am to do now. So baby, what you think about that? Well, having faith, you got to trust in something. Yeah. And you can't say you don't have faith because for us to live every day, when you get ready to get up, you got to have faith to get out Amen. of bed. You got to have faith to walk around your home. Amen. You got to have faith to get saved. Mm -hmm. You got to have faith to pray. And you got to know how to pray. And then when you pray, you got to trust in something. It's got to be God. Some people say, may take their car for their God, but they can't help you. You need someone you have never seen. We have never seen God. That's faith. You have never seen, but we still believe in him and trust in him. You have anything else? Sure, I have always had something to talk about God, but God is an awesome God. Faith is something that you cannot see, touch, or feel. But every one of us, when we get up in the morning, we go to the table. We don't reach back and touch the table. <laughs> when we come to church, we don't reach back and touch that. We got faith that it will not fall on us. And the same thing with God. We got to have faith in Him. He will not let you fall down. 
He always got your back to pick you up. When you're down, you'll take you and run with it. So therefore, stand. Stand on his faith and not on yours alone. Because without him, we can't do nothing. What you think about that, baby? We can't do nothing without him. No. And you can't please God. You got to have faith. If you don't have faith, you can't please God. You can't be a man pleaser. Mm -hmm. You have to obey what God say. Obey his <laughs> command. Obey what he tell you every day, not what man say. That's how you have faith. And it's just like, bit like you say you went in the army. Being in the Lord, you have, you're in the army. You mm -hmm. have to put on that whole army. You got to have, be dressed right for this faith. You, you got to have the right thing on. Don't say those dots will come at you. You got to know how to fight. You have to have on your helmet and, and uh, righteousness to fight this. You got to, as they say, keep your gun loaded. Amen. And how we keep our gun loaded, this war, we have the word of God. That's how you do that. Yes, I always have something to say about that sword, boy. Because, no, I know the word cut sharper than a screw-edged sword. And I know one time that I could not even talk. But one thing I knew, he had my heart, he had my sword, he had my body. And I knew that when I was in the armor of the Lord, he had me taken care of. Just think, boy, when I went to Vietnam, boy, I was a scared young man. I was 22 years old. They were shooting at me and trying to kill me, but God had an armor around me and protected me. And the same thing while we're, we are in this world. God got an armor protection around you, but you got to have faith and trust and believe in God in all things. And it can work and it will work. Faith walk this is all about. What you think about that, baby? Yes, yeah, a faith talk and a faith walk. Because you can't just talk it, though. See, there's something for faith you got to have faith. You can't just talk, I got faith. Mm -hmm. It's something that has to be exercised. And how you exercise that you read your word every day, you pray and you trust in the Lord. Mm -hmm. And as, as you need him, you come to him. Because the word is the one, that's how you get faith, how we receive faith, is by hearing the word of God. Hearing somebody preach the word, the more you hear it. And the more you hear, the more your faith grows. What well, think about it? I thank God for my mother, and my father, when I came into this world, she made sure I went to church, go to Sunday school, be by TU and all that stuff. So that word was put into me that I really learned it. I, I learned how to read the Bible, know how to translate it, know how to do everything about the word of God. So therefore, and you know, using, I know we like to eat pork choppers and all that stuff, but we need the same thing <laughs> with the word of God. We need to eat it, and let it endow in our body and my soul and our spirit. It'll make us a better person. But just don't go to the top. Go to the intimately love with God. And He will help you in your trial and time. Forgive me sometime with my speech, but I get it right. Because that Holy Ghost will get in you and we will walk and talk in the true lovingness of God. Don't you think about that, baby? Well, tell us a little about that, why you talk like you talk. Oh, boy. Why you having problems with your talking. Just think, boy, I had a stroke. I had went to a holy land. I had invited peoples over from Georgia, and they came, and I treated them. We went to the holy land, and we had a nice time. And just think, I, they went back to Georgia, and I came home, and I thought that I was all right. You know, when you get back home, you want to see if you got any money left in your bank. So I went and checked my money out in the bank, and I said, oh, boy, I got some money in my bank. So I came home and hit the remote to let the garage up and tried to get out of my car. I opened the door, and I could not get out of it. So I stayed in my car for maybe about five minutes. And then I said, okay, I'm going to take my keys out. I took my keys out and opened the door. Just think. I don't remember nothing after that. All I know is the keys hit the ground and I hit the ground. But my neighbor, as they tell me, came and picked me up. What you think about that, baby? They had to come take me and pick me up and put me in the garage. Well, at that time, I wasn't at home. I had went to a birthday party with my granddaughter. But what happened, what I was told by my baby daughter, that you had fell out and the neighbor got you. 
And so they called, she called me and she was crying. And she was saying, Mom, Dad done fell out. I said, well, well, you think he heard of what was going on, uncle, put your hand on his head. So I told her, put her hand on your head and put the phone to your ear and I will pray for you. And when I finished praying, she took the phone from me. She said, Mama, whatever you prayed about, he's back conscious now. That's faith. That's faith. That's faith. <laughs> think, 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 boy. You can just speak the word and it come to existence. She spoke the faith of prayer to me and I came back conscious. Just think, they told me that I have to be at the hospital within one hour. If not, I would be a vegetable, I'll be dead. And we had faith. My baby, I love this woman. 42 years, she always would take my back, take my front, and took care of me. Because I know God and her was on my side. And I need, ain't no such thing as two. We need to be one. And she was my one and one only. And God was in head of all of our life because we walk by faith in Christ Jesus together. Two, one can put one, two can put two. And just think, baby, he took us through all those hard times. Look what he did for you. And look what he did for me. What'd he do for you, baby? He do, he's my everything. Cause I'm, I'm a child and even knew a mother. I didn't know my mother, and I, she died when I was three years old. And when she died, she was holding my brother in her lap, mm -hmm. and he was my three weeks old. Mm -hmm. And I was sitting by her, and my niece was sitting by her, and the, and the other children on the back of the truck. And then the guy come, he said he was drunk, and he hit the truck. So nobody didn't die from that but my mother. Mm -hmm. So then my uncle and aunt took me and raised me. So after they took me and raised me, they raised me in the, in the word. Mm -hmm. And whatever I need, I learned how to go to God with it. They taught me about it. I remember one day I needed a pair of shoes. And I seek the Lord. I said, I'm going to find out for real because they had taught me that. So I told the Lord I need some shoes. So I prayed and asked for the shoes. And you wouldn't believe my oldest brother was in the army. He sent as if I talked to him and told him to send me the money for the shoes. But I didn't. He sent me a letter and said, here you some money, buy you some shoes. Now that's faith, because I hadn't spoke to him, he hadn't spoke to me. Mm -hmm. But I need that pair of shoes. Mm -hmm. God is my life. He's my daddy, and whatever I need, I go to him. Because mm -hmm. he's the one to do it. Just think, baby. It, at the latter part of my life and your life, I lost something. I could not talk. I could not read. I could not walk. Under all that thing because I had a stroke. And just think, all that took away from me. But faith in God, God restored double for your trouble. And He restored me double. Just think now, sometimes I can talk, sometimes I cannot talk, and sometimes I won't stop talking. But I know that God is a faithful God. He'll give you double for your trouble. And just think, I am able because I had to go to the VA to train how to read, how to walk, how to talk, and all that. But it's not man. God had it in his hand. Don't think everything given credit to man. Man can't do no more than what God allowed him to do. So therefore, you got to have faith and walk God, and God will take care of you. And just think, but he continued to take care of me. Just think, I had a stroke. And my eyes had a stroke in and it had coma in one side. If I don't take the medicine that they give in my eyes, they say I'm going to go blind. Do I still see? I still see the light. I see everything in the morning. And I know God is an awesome God. What you think about that, baby? I can still see. I can still walk. I can still talk. And I can still pray too. Mm, it's a blessing when the Lord give, give all the medicine to help you and you still got to pray over the medicine and still trust in him. And just like when you had these different things, a blessing, we had a doctor that believed in God with that stroke. He believed in God too. Mm -hmm. He said, what you think about mom? You keep praying. He wants to give him the medicine because he's a candidate. We told him, yeah, I signed the papers. He said, but one person had that medicine, look at a young girl. And he said, cause you want your husband no very young one where he can't walk. And so they gave him that medicine and he's walking now. But what I like about it also, when you couldn't talk, 
mm-hmm. and you went to the VA. I like where he you didn't want to read the, what they had. He mm-hmm. asked him could he bring his prayer book. So he brought the prayer book all the time. The lady said, yeah, I like them, bring them. And that's what she taught him through the prayer book to read again. The daily bread. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and just think, but our daily bread, everyone loves bread. Sometimes we think about money, but the bread of life. Yes. We need that first. You get the bread of life. You get the second, it says, seek ye first the kingdom of God, and all other things will be added unto you. Amen. First thing first, him first. And all other things will be added unto you. Just think, all the things that have been added to you, me, and everybody else, it wasn't by you. It was by him. And he created everything. All we got to do is just have faith in it and just go get it. It's already there. All you got to do is speak into existence. Faith is something that you cannot see, touch, or feel, but you got to speak it into existence. And it is there. All you got to do is speak it and believe and trust in God. What do you think about that, baby? How much do you trust in God? I trust in him because our son, he was real sick. When I had him, he was a baby. He was sick and they kept saying they had brown cows. He's going to have to take these shots. I said, oh, no, you ain't going to put no shots in my baby back. Mm-hmm. And he was sick. Oh, he was sick for a while there. So the prophet and the preacher come over and say, we pray for him. And by your faith, mm-hmm. he could be here. Your mom and everybody talking about, do this for him, the brown cows. Do put this under it. I said, I don't believe like that. Y'all believe in that'll work. But I believe in God. So when they prayed for my son, to, from today, my friend asked me what happened, how he got like it. I said, because I believed in the Lord. His God, Father, and the prophet came, and they prayed, and I believed, and by my faith, he was healed. Mm-hmm. So, therefore, now, faith is the substance of things you have not seen, not touched, not feel. It is now. Ain't no thing as later. And faith is faith. Not in man, but in God. And the substance of things, substance, we got a whole lot of substance. But God created everything. He gave man all kinds of things to invest in. Just think, he, he created everything. But God also gave man the intelligence to make these things. And just think, now faith is the, in the substance which thing God has created for us. And all we got to be is willing and obedient, then we can eat the good of the land. If you be disobedient, you say you got a sword will cut you to the marrow of your body. Hold that thought. We'll be back next week with another episode of Faith Talk.
Are aches and pains slowing you down? Now is the time to give Nucentra a try. Nucentra products are made from natural ingredients formulated to heal the body from inside out. Our products are held to the highest standards of quality and provide 100% daily vitamins and nutrients for all. Go ahead now to turn back that aging clock. Try Nucentra's today. Brenda Solomon, Nucentra representative and success story. Musgrove Music. Jesus. 
before me. I want you to touch those who are lost. Let them know that through Jesus, they can come to you and they can be redeemed. They can be saved in your name, in Jesus' name. Amen. What time did preacher supposed to be here? I'm the preacher coming right now, man. In a minute, preacher coming here now, man. Okay, That's we got to look out for him, right? Yeah, he's okay. up here. He's coming from right here. Okay. Here, man. The, the dude that came here the other night, we go to church with him. We go to church with him. So when we come, we come by, we just go. Uh, you know, he coming down here right now. He coming down this way right now. Let's catch him. Oh, yeah, yeah, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go.